doing another bottom end on a TM300. This is something that I have covered, but I get a lot of questions about it continually. So I'm gonna do it again. This bottom end has a pair of ball bearings and both sides are interference fit. Interference fit means that the shaft is actually a little bit bigger than the bearing. So I'm gonna heat up this bearing to about 200 Fahrenheit. I'm using a heat gun because with the flame, it's very easy to overheat it. And if I get it much hotter than 300 Fahrenheit, it's gonna turn blue and the bearing will be ruined. Crank should just drop into the hole, just like that. So now I've preheated that side, then I put my silicone on this side. Now, as soon as these cases go together, the heat starts to transfer between the crank and the bearings, and the bearings lock onto the crank. Now, I'm putting these bolts in, and it is adding a slight amount of tension to these crank cases, and they're gonna squeeze together just a little bit. And it will not even move. This happens all the time. All I'm gonna do is just vibrate the inner race of the bearing a little bit. I don't know if you noticed the difference in sound, but the bearing on the right side was not moving. The left side moved immediately. Bottom ends don't always end up needing this, but it is imperative to check that your crank is rolling smoothly. 